everybody. Uh, it's Mike. I'm back with a quick update on the process of exporting Stata output into Word. Uh, so we know Stata 15 uh, has our built-in put doc X option. Uh, and I recently stumbled upon uh, maybe a more elegant option, the AS doc user written command. Uh, so I just want to take a quick look at it, just kind of let you know that it's out there. Uh, so of course it's a user written command, so we need to install it. Right? So we would type in ssc install asdoc, all one word. Uh, I've already got mine installed, so hopefully that'll overwrite that real quick. And before we get started, uh, if I just type in help asdoc, uh, as usual, there's a, a very nice set of uh, examples and all the options that are available. Uh, I just want to scroll all the way down at the bottom to give credit where credit is due. Uh, this uh, command and all the options were written by uh, Dr. Atullah Shah uh, from Pakistan. Check out his website. Uh, seems to do a lot of great stuff with Stata, and this one definitely took a lot of work. Uh, so big thanks to Dr. Shah. Uh, so to take a look uh, real quick at how it works, let's just load in some data. Let's use the, uh, the SysUse Auto, so one of our automatically downloaded data sets. And here's the beauty of it. We just use this ASDOC as a prefix for a regression command. It works with uh, some other commands as well, uh, summary statistics, etc. So if we just say regress uh, price as a function of MPG, uh, for example, and then we'll type in comma replace, in case we already have a file open, uh, and then look at this. We get our usual Stata output here, and then a little link that takes us right to the associated Word file, and there's really nicely formatted Stata output. Uh, so lots of other uh, options in terms of what you want to include. Like I said, check it out in the in the help menu. Uh, and here's one thing that I did stumble upon: this option, comma replace, uh, which is obviously going to be necessary when we need to go from one session to another. We don't want to put everything into one uh, Word file. Not a big deal. You just copy and paste it from one file to the next. But I'm curious if this happens to other people. If we omit the space between the comma and replace, and we try the same thing, option replace not allowed. So a little bit of a bug uh, it seems to be in the in the programming here. So if we do, if you want the replace option, you got to have the space after the comma. Other than that, uh, this seems like a really really nice uh, program. I think it's going to become a part of my regular rotation. Um, so, check it out. Hopefully that helps you out. Have a great day.